Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? I gotta pause. Casey. Been watching vlogs, so I'm uh, gonna start doing that again. Good morning, everybody. What's happening? What's going on? Today is uh, Thursday. It is the day of the competition. It is currently 11:42, so we're about to go to the track here fairly soon. Um, I apologize for the shirtlessness, but uh, I'm not gonna make exceptions for the vlog. Sorry, I don't like to wear shirts. Anyways, um, yeah, so this morning I figured I'd walk you guys through a little bit of my routine uh, when I go for a multi or a big meet or something like this. The morning of, I go get breakfast. This morning, the only thing I could find was McDonald's, so I tried to get the easiest, simplest breakfast from McDonald's. Obviously, it's a little greasy, but it at least has some nutrients in it that are decent for me, and then I have protein bars and stuff back here. So mainly the reason to go to McDonald's was for the coffee because the Keurig thing here, I uh, I don't understand it. Um, so I went and got coffee. Um, I used the layered superfood mushroom stuff in it to make it taste like normal coffee. Now we've just been hanging out, been watching videos. I personally like to watch motivational stuff, so I've been watching Muhammad Ali all morning because he's probably my favorite athlete um, of all time. If you guys wonder what I eat, during competition, um, I have coffee in the morning of, like I said, and I have my vitamins. These are, uh, I like chewy vitamins. The yeah, other like little kid things, but uh, makes it so I actually take them. This is B12 because I don't eat meat, and so the B12 is like pretty substantial when you're a vegetarian or vegan. Um, vitamin D, just because I lived in Eugene forever and so there's not a lot of sun there, so you don't get a lot of it through the beautiful sunlight that is Des Moines, Iowa. Um, and then I always have a bunch of protein bars, and then I always pick up some Cliff Bars, and I know these have a ton of sugar in them. Let me see. Yeah, 21 grams of sugar for nine grams of protein, so not great, but during a longer competition, like at a decathlon or something, you're burning so many calories that the sugar doesn't necessarily make a difference. Um, and they're a bar that I know that I'll actually eat. So when I'm competing like that, or when you're in between events, whether that's just that track meet, oftentimes you are either nervous or your body says, I'm doing something athletic, I shouldn't be putting food in my mouth. I can always eat Cliff Bars. For some reason, they are like little cookies. They're a little bit healthier than a cookie. and I can actually get them in my mouth and get them down. So I always have a couple of cliff bars. That way I am good to go. I then shower and get ready for the actual day before I pack. Um, make sure there's, if you shower, you kind of get like a fresh start. It makes you feel good. Um, and then I have to pack up all of this stuff into these two bags and not forget anything. This fortune was, in my fortune cookie when I got it. And I think it's almost, I think, I think it's a perfect fortune for today. So that every moment is a golden one for him who has the vision to recognize it as such. Him or her, whoever, to recognize it as such. So basically it means that like, or I'm taking it as it meaning that you can capitalize any opportunity if your mindset is that way. And I think that if you're at a large meet like this, and right now I'm 16th of 16. I know I might not have made that clear yesterday, but I'm 16th of 16, so I'm the lowest seated person coming in. So I have an opportunity to improve no matter what. Like I'm either gonna finish the way that I came in, or I'm going to see success and by success I mean I'm gonna improve by one or two spots even and so that is my moment today is my moment to make a golden one and to capitalize on that because I do recognize it as such I always mess with some bands joy before I go compete just cuz it's happy tunes and I don't know, they're fun to whistle, and I like to whistle a lot. During competition, too. You know what I mean? Okay, so we're pretty much packed. Um, I use two bags. I go with this guy. It's full of my drinks 
food and extra clothes except for those because I'll be wearing those. And then this one's full of all my spikes, tape and tape measures and just random stuff that I need for the actual meat. So that's pretty much everything that I pack. Um, I always try and wear something comfortable. I have just a normal shirt on, random jersey I bought because I'm not sponsored. Uh, some pants that I actually got from Devin and then some random tights. Uh, so it really doesn't matter what you wear as long as you're wearing something that you can compete in, something you can compete in comfortably, and something that's not going to be like obviously super baggy or like whatever. Um, so wear what's comfortable. If you have a uniform, wear your uniform. But um, that's kind of my, I guess, pre-meet. Ambulance just went by. We're right next to a hospital, my hotel is. Um, anyways, the that's kind of what I do pre-meet. So if you're anywhere interested in that, hope you enjoyed uh, the beginning of this vlog. Um, everything else is going to be kind of sporadic. I might check in before or after the competition, um, and maybe when I'm getting checked in and stuff. But other than that, that's what I do in my hotel room prior to a large meet. I hope you guys enjoyed it, um, and I'll check back in with you guys either after or maybe even at the track. Maybe with some of the other decathletes. Uh, yeah, but hopefully you guys are having an awesome day because I know I'm about to have an awesome day. Remember, happiness is equal to um, your reality over your expectations. So if you have super high expectations, your reality is very rarely gonna get to that expectation, so you're always gonna be disappointed. If you have average expectations, every once in a while you're gonna be happy. If you have lower expectations, and or you don't expect anything out of any situation, then you're always going to be happy. You're always going to have a positive outcome. I looked at it like that when I was up in Canada, and it made the world of difference to my decathlon. So, low expectations, high happiness today, and we're going to kill it. I'll see you guys after.